kind of chromium is it? There's more than one type? Yes. There's uh, straight up chromium, does all kinds of good things for the body. There's chrome 3, which is fairly benign. And then there's chrome 6, hexavalent chromium, which, depending on the amounts, can be very harmful. Hey, with repeated exposure to toxic levels, God, anything really from chronic headaches and nosebleeds to respiratory disease, liver failure, heart failure, reproductive failure, bone or organ deterioration, plus, of course, any type of cancer. So that stuff, it kills people. Oh, yeah, definitely. Highly toxic, highly carcinogenic. It gets into your DNA, too, so you pass the trouble along to your kids. It's very, very bad. Well, what's it used for? <laughs> A rust inhibitor. See, the utility plants use these piston engines to compress the gas. The engines get hot, you've got to run water through them. Chromium's in the water to prevent corrosion. Let's be honest here. Twenty million dollars is more money than these people have ever dreamed of. Oh, see, now that pisses me off. First of all, since the demur, we have more than 400 plaintiffs in. Let's be honest, we all know there are more out there. They may not be the most sophisticated people, but they do know how to divide, and $20 million isn't shit when you split it between them. Aaron. Second of all, these people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in a pool without worrying that they'll have to have a hysterectomy at the age of 20, like Rosa Diaz, a client of ours, or have their spine deteriorate like Stan Bloom, another client of ours. So before you come back here with another lame-ass offer, I want you to think real hard about what your spine is worth, Mr. Walker. Or what you might expect someone to pay you for your uterus, Miss Sanchez. Then you take out your calculator and you multiply that number by a hundred. Anything less than that is a waste of our time. By the way, we had that water brought in special for you folks. Came from Well and Hinkley. I think this meeting's over. Damn right it is. If you tell us what you know, we might be able to help. I can't tell you much. People are dying and I can't determine why. I've sampled the soil, the water, can't find anything out of the ordinary. Did you say this is a pre-industrial society? Yes. Hmm. Our methods may be unrefined, but this woman is using forensic techniques far more sophisticated than I would have expected. Hmm. Had this woman been born on Vulcan or Earth, I'm sure she would have made a fine physician. Ah. Ah, here's our culprit. The water sample's contaminated with tetracycline H622. I'm not familiar with it. It's a synthetic compound, primarily used as an industrial lubricant, usually under the strictest safety protocols. It's quite toxic, 